Hey guys, Justin here. I'm here to talk about the attack melee state. Let's go to our NPC sample. The behavior component down here is the attack settings. Now the attack has two kinds, the melee and the range attack. Target's consideration radius is the distance for an actor to be considered an attack target. You can also set if it can require line of sight. Here in the melee, as you can see, we have the universal option that can be found on for all behavior states and unique properties for the melee attack down here. The attack melee distance is the actual range of the melee attack. How far can the AI do a melee attack? The attack melee transition is the state that the AI will change to once it finishes its attack melee. So for us to make our AI attack, let's go ahead and click on attack melee behavior config. And here in our animations, let's add an animation that will be played during the melee attack. I already have some animations. You can have your own as well. I'm going to select AM attack. So these are animontages that you can use for your attacks. So I have here three. And you'll notice here in the boolean, random anim is set to true meaning the attack will choose a random animation from these three now in the target tags right here you can see that it's set to player that means that this ai will look for an actor that it has a tag of player and he will attack it the attack melee distance let's set this to about 100 and the attack melee transition to idle hit compile make sure that our player character actually has the tag of player so if you search here tag make sure that our player character has a tag of player now let's go to our level uh, before that make sure that our AI is initial behavior is set to attack melee so hit compile so play now he attacks me you'll notice that the AI just attacked once because it is now in the idle state as set as we set in the attack settings here in the transition now for us to make the AI attack multiple times we have to go to our idle settings right here in the idle settings Let's go and add a delay trigger. Let's set the delay to 1 with a random deviation of 0 0.5 and the behavior 2 is set to attack melee. So this means that during the idle state it will have a delay of 1 plus or minus 0 0.5. After that it will go to the attack melee. Now let's hit our initial behavior to idle. Hit compile. Now, as you can see, now it attacks me, and then after a few seconds, it attacks me again. That is the attack melee state.